What's up guys, Hot Frontier back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a combo tutorial for Black Wings after Darkwing Blast. If you guys have not seen my deck profile, I just posted on my channel, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below as well. Definitely let me know what you think about the deck profile and the combo video as we go. But we're gonna do two combos, I'm gonna show you two, and then we're gonna do some test hands. So let's go ahead and show you guys the first one. Probably the most simple, we have Samoon, plus any Blackwing will do a Gale. Uh, preferably not the one ofs, but if you have to, some situations, then you might just have to. So let's go ahead and start off. We go ahead and remove the Gale to activate Samoon's effect, which will go ahead and let us place a Black Rowan from our deck onto field. Then we're gonna normal summon this additional one. We still have the normal summon. Chain Link one, Black Rowans. Go ahead and add the Sudri. Then we're gonna go ahead and normal summon now, Sudri. Chain Link 1, Sudri, Chain Link 2, Black Rowand. Go ahead and add the Vada and the Shamal. Shamal off of uh, Sudri's effect. Then we're gonna go in Shamal, sending this to place a Black Feather Whirlwind from deck onto field. Now what we're gonna do is special summon the Vada, and special summon once per turn from the hand, and go into a Synchro Summon. And we're going straight into our level six, or nor northern always have trouble saying that and now here we go we go chain link one the chain links uh i want to say you do this first to kind of protect it but chain link one chain link two chain link three shamal will banish itself to add back a black wing to your hand i add this back uh we do take seven i believe um and then chain link two black weather whirlwind will special summon this back which will a black wing that has less attack than the one summoned and chain link one it will burn your opponent, plus you have that extra normal summon now. So let's go ahead and normal summon Sudri again. Chain link one, chain link two. This time uh, we're going to add it's the one of, it is right here. The Oroshi to hand, chain link one. We're gonna go ahead and add our Twin Shadow. Okay, now what we're gonna do is activate effect. Avada. We didn't activate it before because we needed it as the level two for the synchro. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and add the well send the Zephros to grave. Good thing we didn't have it in hand, right? And we're gonna send one more. The Hamaton, the dust. Here we go. Send to grave. So that's six. This is eight. And right ahead, go ahead and uh, summon out the Black Wing Dragon. Now, this is what we can do. We will activate. Zephyrus the Elite Engrave, special summoning it back by spinning this back to hand. Make sure to activate this again so you can get the, the next effect off. Now what we can do is we do not need these two anymore. So go ahead and send them to Grave and go into our Link 2 right here, Y-Strix. Y-Strix effect, summon out the Shamal. Someone was asking me, uh, should you run two instead of three? Honestly, three, because if, uh, let's say, uh, Shamoon, we had, we had Shamoon and we had Shamal. That's it. We had in hand, right? Then now we're at two Shamal, uh, Shamal. So you really kind of, um, well, you'd be at one then, and then you'd be kind of short for, uh, later down the combo. But, so we summon this, the effects negate, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to go ahead and so summon this, this with Black Wing Dragon. You can also do it the other way and summon yeah, your full armor master, but let's just do it this way. Go, oops, sorry guys. We go hot red. Now, chain link one. Go ahead and summon out the Vada again. Vada is very good. And then now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Shamal and our Northern and go full armor master. And I'll put it right underneath. You just want to make sure your link arrows aren't blocked so then when you try to go for uh, Mascarena. But um, now we can go Zephros and Vada into the new monster, Boar Storm. Boar Storm effect, right? Go ahead and send out from deck the Vayu. Vayu effect. Banish this. You don't really need Zephros anymore. Banish that and go into our level five, Sahara. So summon Sahara. 
Now again, you really only need it as a body because we're gonna go here and send these to the grave to summon out your Mascarena. And now we have this, this in here, and now we can banish both the Boar Storm and the Black Winged Dragon to straight up just special summon the best support from Dark Winged Blast. We got Black Winged Assault Dragon on field. And we can just set our Twin Shadow, and there you go, that's full combo. So not only do you have Appaloosa, you mean Appaloosa with this, you have Unaffected by other card effects, you have Hot Red that can target one card. You have your full, your Black Winged Assault Dragon that can burn your opponent for 700 every, every, 700 every time. You have your Black Winged Assault Dragon that can burn your opponent every time they activate a monster effect and it resolves and it gains a counter. You have the Twin Shadow, which again, you can Synchro Summon, destroy monsters on your opponent's side of the field. If your opponent tries to Dark Ruler no more, you go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Hot Red. Um, but yeah, but guys, really powerful. Um, this is combo number one. Let me go ahead and show you guys combo number two. All right, guys, so now for combo number two, you just need Sudri in either Vada or Shamal in hand, right? So let's say we just have Vada in hand. Either way, it doesn't really matter because let me show you. We go Sudri, normal summon, effect. Just add Shamal. See what I mean? So it doesn't really matter which one you have, but as long as you have these three, right? So activate Shamal, send to grave, Go ahead and activate our Tenuous Spell, which is probably going to be at the front. Watch, guys. And there it is. Black Feather Whirlwind right here. Special Summon the Vada. And go Vada Sudri into your Northern. Northern is just so good, guys. The Black Wings, too, especially. Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Chain Link 3. 3, Vanish. Add back. Black Feather Whirlwind effect to special Vada. And then again, burn your opponent. Now we have that extra normal summon. Go ahead and summon Sudri again. Sudri is going to get go ahead and search our Twin Shadow. Now we have Twin Shadow in hand. We have this on field. We're gonna activate Vada. And then Vada is going to dump once again. The Zephros. First the Haman and the Dawn, the Dusk, and the Zephros. And itself, of course, to go ahead and get us that Black Winged Dragon. Here we go. Now, we don't get the effect because we already did it, but we're going to do a Zephros again. Brass bounces back to hand. We would take four, remember, because now we have this on field. This takes the damage, so it just goes lower in attack. Um, let's now go ahead and activate this again. And again, combo is a little different, but what we're gonna do now is we do not need Sudri and Zephyros anymore. So we send that to grave and go into our Rystrix. Rystrix effect. Go ahead and special the level four. Um, in some cases, you don't get Zephyros out. You special summon Zephyros, right? But now we will summon Shamal, our tuner. And we're gonna go ahead and Shamal with the Northern for our level 10. In defense mode. Now, um, effect of Black Feather Whirlwind. We go ahead and get the Vada. This, now this part doesn't really matter what you get, we just need a body, and we take our Black Wing Dragon and our Vada to Grave because we're going into IP Mascarena. Now this can be different, so you can either go uh, IP Mascarena or, because you have an 8 and a 10, you could just go ahead and summon out, out Black Winged Assault Dragon. But this way, um, if you do it this way, then you have two monsters defense mode. Uh, if you do it the other way, then you're going to have your Appaloosa. You know, they might be able to out your Appaloosa. But um, remember, either way, you still have your Twin Shadow. You can set for next turn and go ahead and summon out Silverwind if you want. So, guys, that's combo number two. Let's go ahead and move on to some test hands. All right, guys, so we're shuffling it up really good. Okay, no cheating, I promise. Every time I shuffle my deck, I do, like... Um, you know, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then put them all together. So we just did that, and now we're shuffling. So 
All right, I'm surprised because you know what? This is my favorite part because now I get to see how I brick really hard, right? Just for you guys. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get our five cards out and put this to the side. All right, here we go. So let's see how bad it is, right? All right, we have a Gale. Sudri, very good. Black Rowan, every time you get a hand that has Black Rowan, that's very good. Another Sudri, okay, that's a brick. And we have Ash Blossom. All right, so Ash Blossom's to the side because you don't really use that. Um, let's go ahead and activate the Black Whirlwind. Special summon the oh, special normal summon the Sudri. Chain Link one Sudri. Chain Link two Black Whirlwind. What we're actually going to do is same thing. Actually, we're gonna get the Vada. Uh, let's see, Vada, 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 Vada. Here we go. We get the Vada, and then Sudri effect. Add the Shamal. Shamal, send to grave. Go ahead and get that black whirlwind. Black feather whirlwind. Okay, there we go. Now we're done there. Let's go ahead and summon the Vada. Go into a link uh, level six. Synchro six. Northern. Now we go chain link one, chain link two, chain link three. Banish that. Add back your Sudri, even though you have another Sudri in hand, but I mean, add back the Sudri regardless. Uh, chain Link 2, Vada, Chain Link 1, Burn. Um, get the normal summon right. Go ahead, now we're going to summon the other Sudri, it doesn't matter, but uh, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. Go and add our Roshi. Two, uh, 1, add the Twin Shadow. Okay, so now go ahead and activate the Vada's effect, dumping both Zephyrus and. Your Hamat's in the dust. So first is right there. Go put this over here. Go in there. Go ahead for Black Winged Dragon. So you basically see how the combo is the same thing from the uh, first video, from the combo one, right? Um, now we can do what we could do is we already switched with that. We can do that. We can go ahead and summon out the Zephyrus, the Elite. Bouncing this. Activate again. Alright, we're going to special summon out our Gale. And go Gale, and we're going to go the Zephyrus the Elite to Grave. We need to make more room. Let's go ahead and summon out White, uh, White Strix. Now, White Strix effect. Go ahead and summon out the Shamal right underneath. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Shamal. It's negated, but that's all good. Now what we're going to do is go Roshi with Black Queen Dragon, going for the Hot Red, right there, Effect, summoning out the Vada again, alright, there's Vada, we go 4, 6, that makes 10, full armored, Yep, there we go. Now, we go two and four into a Boar Storm. Boar Storm dumping the Vada, which we did not draw, which is good. The Vayu, I mean. Now, Vayu banishing with Sudri. Go ahead and summon out. Always forget the name, or Sahara. And then we just go Sahara, Boar Storm, for everyone's favorite girl, IP Mascarena. And then we can go ahead and summon out our Black Wing Assault Dragon by banishing the Boar Storm and the Black Wing Dragon itself. And then there you go. It's basically the same board. Now we just have um, another Suger in hand. We set this, of course, and we have an ash. So, one, two, uh, three, four, five interruptions. You know, pretty good. That's pretty good, but let's go ahead and show you guys one more test hand, and let's find out what happens. All right, guys, just finishing shuffling. Go one, two, and three. Okay, so now, let's go one card. Very good already, Samoon. We have Call by the Grave, alright. Sudri, okay. 
Zephyros, okay, bad. <laughs> and we have Avada. Okay, this is an interesting hand. So let's go ahead and Sun Moon, of course. We if we're gonna Sun Moon and we already have the Sudri, we do not we no longer need the Zephyros because there's no way to summon it out. Um because we're gonna summon out this, we're gonna normal summon this, and then the extra normal summon do it again. So go ahead and advantage the Zephyros. This one's a little weird, but let's see how we can do this. Kind of perfect how I was able to catch this. So uh, we're gonna go Black Whirlwind, Normal Summon, Effective Black Whirlwind. Uh, now that we have the Sudri and we have the Vada, let's go ahead and add Extender. Let's go ahead and add um, Gale. Now that we have Gale, let's go ahead and Normal Summon Sudri, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. We do not have the Shamal, so we're gonna go ahead and add the Shamal. Everything will call me, which is basically trying to get what you don't have. And then moving on to the next part. So, uh, chain, and then that is chain link one, chain link two. So, let's go ahead and add the Hiroshi. Right? Did I pass it? I probably passed it. Here we go. The Hiroshi. So, Shamal. Go ahead and place Black Feather Whirlwind. Now, what we can do is some of the Vada. And then, you know, take that with the Sudri. Northern. All right, chain link one. Again, same thing, guys. Chain link one, chain link two, chain link three. Danish to add back. Two, special, one, burn. Get that extra normal summon. Go ahead and normal summon again. Chain link one, chain link two. We can now go ahead and add, just thinking exactly which one I want to add. Um, we can do another Gale, to be honest with you. Because Gale is not a once per turn special summon. And then Sudri effect, go ahead and add Twin Shadow. I'm thinking of probably cutting Twin Shadow the one. We really only need the one, because if we add it in hand, then we already have it. But um, now that we've summoned that, Vada effect, which now we're just going to have to dump the... Some moon and Vada itself. If you do not have the Zephyros, and go right into our Black Wing Dragon. Okay. So now what we can do is there's no more bouncing this back, especially some of the other one. So it's a little different now. Uh, but we can do is let's go ahead and clear some space in our field. We're gonna go ahead and. Go for that link to uh, link two. Y Strix, Y Strix effect, just like usual. Go for the Shamal, and then Shamal and your Northern. Take that. Go for full armor master. Okay. Now we can go ahead and summon out the Gale. And our other Gale, pushing out the Roshi. Um, go ahead and go with the Black Wing Dragon. Go for Hot Red. So with this combo, we actually can't make the Boar Storm, unfortunately. But you can still go ahead and take your two Gales and make IP Masquerina. There we go. But we do have the Call by the Grave now. If, you know, they try to impure us. Um, we have the Twin Shadow, so we can still go ahead and summon out the Silverwind. Should have two level fours. Yep, four and four. So, really good. Uh, another thing I didn't mention in the combo video really quick is that Silverwind, to summon it out normally would be one Black Wing Tuner plus two or more uh, non-tuner monsters. And so I'll point this out too. That Twin Shadow basically bypasses that by just saying you just need one and the other one. So again, a lot of these cards are just really good, and you don't even notice things like that. Um, last thing, Sudi's the second effect. I didn't really describe it to, uh, much to you guys when I was doing the deck profile, but again, you can tribute um, a one monster, it could be itself, and summon out a tuner. So that's like if you get interrupted. Uh, I versus a Labyrinth player, and he spinned my Vada back to hand because he, he actually read um, something that a lot, not a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players do, including myself. <laughs> And I was gonna to basically just tribute my Samuna hat on board, some of the token, and then still go into that northern. 
it's a level two tuner token. So um, a lot of things are, again, really cool about this deck. And if you guys have any, any questions, definitely go ahead and let me know down below as well. And I can't wait to read them. But guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But first, go ahead and like this video and comment down below if you like this deck or not. Definitely let me know. All right, guys, but I had fun comboing off. I hope you had fun watching this combo, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.